Hi readers, my name is Jenny and I am Ryan and Ellie's mom. They are in Mrs. Lay's class this year. And I wanted to read you today one of our favorite books called Trick or Treat in Washington. The full moon's out on Halloween, the sky is starry bright. Above the state of Washington appears an eerie light. It darts behind the scattered clouds, it zips from town to town. It hovers over Seattle, then slowly heads on down. A ramp shoots out, a hatch appears, smoke pours into the air. A chilling alien silhouette gives owls and wolves a scare. It steps out of the thick white fog. Its skin is neon green. The alien is, without a doubt, the cutest thing I've seen. It's pretty cute. Spokane, Vancouver, or Mount Rainier. There's just so much to do. And what about Lake Chelan? But first, a trip to Point Defiant Zoo. He pulls out his transporter and waves it in the air. Now in the spot where he just stood, there is nobody there. He reappears in Tacoma and wanders all around, making sure that he checks off each landmark that he's found. He zaps onto Olympia to take a little look, snapping selfies as he goes and posting them to Facebook. But where is everybody? Are they staying in tonight? He climbs up high to take a peek and gets a nasty fright. For all around this spooky town, the streets are jammed and heaving. Monsters, monsters everywhere. It's time that he was leaving. They are at Rhododendron Park, one of our favorites. I'd better run, the alien says. I'm not a big brave hero. Oh no, my gizmo doesn't work. The battery gauge reads zero. They're closing in, there's no escape. He scrunches up his eyes. The monsters all surround him, but he gets a big surprise. Hey, high five, dude, a vampire shouts. Great costume, shrieks a ghoul. A little ghost tugs at his arm and says, I think you're cool. So you don't want to eat me then, the little alien asks. They laugh until they're so red-faced, they must take off their masks. Sweet antenna, smiles the ghost while giving them a flick. The children shriek. What happens next is just the coolest trick. The jack-o'-lanterns all take off and float into the sky. Oh, wow, they gasp. It looks like you're a real-life alien guy. The children dance excitedly. They shout, can you do more? The aliens show them lots of tricks as they go door to door. These antics impress everyone, which comes in really handy because it means before too long, their bags are filled with candy. It's getting late, I'd better go, the alien says at last. I promise I'll come back next year. Washington's a blast. They take him to his spaceship and say their sad goodbyes. They wait for him to start it up and zoom into the skies. But something isn't right because it makes the weirdest sound. The witch points underneath and asks, what is that on the ground? His spaceship has a fuel leak. There's thick goo everywhere. Aw, shucks, he says. It looks like I'm not going anywhere. The werewolf hands out bubble gum and shouts, come on guys, chew. We'll stretch the gum across the hole and stick it down like glue. We'll fill the tank with candy. We've got buckets of the stuff. Throw it in up to the brim. There should be just enough. The spaceship is now ready. The alien turns the key. The engine roars, the spaceship soars, and zooms off with a wee. 
face needle. But now it's diving back to earth. The children shake with fear. Ah, he's just flying past to wave and say, see you next year. Happy Halloween, Washington. The end. Have you visited any of these places mentioned in the book? Uh, some of the places are our favorite, like Rhododendron Park in Kenmore. Um, and we love going to Lake Chelan in the summer. Um, let me know. What are your favorite places to visit in Washington? Bye, readers.